Hello friends, this video on menstruation part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And cylinder. So let us try out a few questions. Question number one. Find the height of a cuboid whose base area is 180 cm square and volume is 900 cm cube. So what is the base area? This is the base area of a cuboid and this base area is given as 180 cm square and the entire volume is also given. Now the base area when it gets added as many times as is the height then we get the volume so basically volume of a cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height where length into breadth is nothing but the base area so the base area multiplied to height gives the volume so therefore height is equal to volume divided by base area so this can be written as volume is 900 centimeter cube by base area which is 180 centimeter cube so this would be 5. So that is 5 centimeters would be the height of the cuboid. Question number 2. A milk tank is in the form of cylinder whose radius is 1.5 meters and length is 7 meters. So you have a milk tank in this shape where the radius is 1.5 meters and the length is 7 meters. So the length is 7 meters, length or height, whatever you call it. Find the quantity of milk in liters that can be stored in the tank. So how much milk can it hold? So it's basically talking about its capacity to hold milk. So let's find out the volume of the cylinder which is given by pi r square h. So pi is 22 by 7, r is given as 1.5. So 1.5 into 1.5 into h is 7. So 7 and 7 will get cancelled. So this is equal to 49.5 meter cube because here all are in meters. So the volume is in meter cube. Now we have to find out the quantity of milk in liters. Now is there any relationship between liter and meter cube? Yes, there is. Now we know that one centimeter cube is equal to one milliliter. So this is a standard relation that we know. Now one centimeter cube is actually equal to 10 to the power minus six meter cube. Why? Because one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Therefore, one meter cube is equal to 10 to the power six centimeter cube. Therefore, one centimeter cube is equal to 10 to the power minus six meter cube. So 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube will be equal to 10 to the power minus 6 milliliter. Now we have to establish a relationship between meter cube and liter. Now 1 milliliter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 liters. So therefore 10 to the power minus 6 milliliters is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 liters. Right? So therefore 1 meter cube will be equal to 10 to the power minus 3 by 10 to the power minus 6 liters which is equal to 10 to the power 3 liters. So we can say 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters. So knowing this relation we can convert this into liters so this would be equal to 49.5 into 1000 which is equal to 49500 liters. So this much milk can, this tank can store. Question number 3. If each edge of a cube is doubled how many times will its surface area increase? Okay now let us suppose now initially let's suppose so case 1, let's say that each side of the cube is A, this is the side length. So in this case, what is the total surface area of the cube? So in this case, the total surface area is 6A square. Now later in case 2, the edge is doubled. So right now the edge is 2A. So in this case, what would be the total surface area? The total surface area would be 6 into 2A whole square. So this is equal to 6 into 4a square which is equal to 24a square. Now if you compare 24a square with 6a square, how many times it has become? So to find out how many times it has become, just divide 24a square by 6a square. So this is 4. So that means the total surface area has become 4 times. 
So this is the solution for first part of the question. Second part asks how many times will its volume increase? So let's see that. So in case one, when each side of the cube is a, that time the volume is equal to a cube. Now in case two, when each side is doubled, that is 2a. So this time the volume would be equal to 2a whole cube, which is equal to 8a cube. So now if you compare 8a cube with a cube, what do you see? You see that the volume has become 8 times. So when edge is doubled, the surface area becomes 4 times and the volume becomes 8 times. Question number 4. Water is pouring into a cuboidal reservoir at the rate of 60 liters per minute. If the volume of the reservoir is 108 meter cube, find the number of hours it will take to fill the reservoir. Now, first of all, let's calculate how many liters of water is present in the reservoir. That is the volume of the reservoir. So, in this case, the volume of the reservoir is given as 108 meter cube. And we know that 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters. We have deduced it some time back. So, therefore, this 108 into 1000 liter. So this is 108000 liters. So this much is the volume of the reservoir. Now what is the rate of water being poured? That is 60 liters in one minute. So that means for 60 liters of water to be poured, how much time it takes? It takes one minute. So one minute is one by 60 hours. So in one by 60 hours, 60 liters of water is poured. So how much time the entire water of the reservoir will take? So entire water is actually 108000 liters. Now let's use the unitary method. So for 60 liters, one by 60 hours. So for one liter, how much time it will take? It will take one by 60 divided by 60. So therefore, for 108,000 liters, it will take 1 by 60 divided by 60, which is 1 by 60. So 1 by 60 into 60 into 108,000. So it will take these many hours. So let's calculate this. So this becomes 6, 1 is a 6, 6, 8 is a 48, 0. Again, 6, 3 is a 18, 0. So that is, it would take some 30 hours to fill the reservoir. So I hope you understood the concept. So the volume of the reservoir is these many liters. That means this is the total uh, amount of water that can be present in the reservoir. So for 60 liters of water, it takes 1 by 60 hour. Therefore, for these many liters of water, it would take these many hours, that is 30 hours. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson would have helped you. So mensuration is all about knowing about different shapes, either two dimensional or three dimensional and dealing with all the measurements related to those shapes. So this lesson is really interesting and you can actually get a huge variety of problems for yourself to solve. So solve those questions and gain more confidence on the concept. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.